Hello my friends, welcome to Art Fashion channel, I'm Daria, the artist who paints on clothes and in this video I'm gonna create anti-Valentine's Day sweatpants. You know, making video for Valentine's Day is kind of a tradition on my channel. Uh, two years ago, I tried to get views by ranking in search and I made a DIY video how to create a t-shirt for Valentine's Day. A year ago, I decided to make something creative and I uh, customized uh, two couple hoodies for Valentine's Day. And if you haven't watched that video, I highly recommend you to watch it because uh, hoodies turned out so cool. And this year, I decided that I need to make a design for people who don't celebrate this day, uh, who don't have a couple, and there are so many lonely people out there. And it can be very hard to get through a day full of this love craziness. Cupids, hearts, chocolates, roses, love messages all over social media. And so I decided to show my support to all the lonely people out there and to create anti-Valentine's Day design. So let's get started. And here is sweatpants, which I'm gonna customize, white sweatpants. So how to turn Valentine's Day design into anti-Valentine's Day design? By painting cupids, hearts and roses, but not using uh, Valentine's Day colors, like pink and red, but using a lot of black color. And also by adding elements which are not associated with uh, Valentine's Day, like barbed wire, for example, I'm gonna put all this Valentine's Day stuff behind the barbed wire uh, because lonely people do not need an extra day which will remind them that they are lonely. They don't need it. And barbed wire will enlace one leg of sweatpants. Uh, I'm gonna create design just on one leg of sweatpants because I think that it will look more interesting. Uh, and first I'm drawing barbed wire with a pencil. And now I'm gonna use black color fabric paint and small brush to paint a uh, barbed wire. And also I put a couple of cardboards inside to prevent a paint from bleeding through. And actually it's pretty easy to paint barbed wire because it's just two entwined wires connected with a such sharp <laughs> small piece of wire. Uh, and uh, you know, it's my third time of painting barbed wire on clothes. Uh, you can use it in many, many different designs and you can create very, very cool designs with barbed wire. And now I'm painting highlights with the white fabric paint uh, to make a barbed wire a bit more realistic. And when front side of sweatpants is dry, I'm painting a barbed wire on the back side and I'm connecting back side wires with the front side wires. And when painting of barbed wire is finished, uh, let's move to the next step, <laughs> uh, painting uh, all the Valentine's Day stuff. And I'm gonna begin with uh, cupids. Uh, I'm gonna paint three cupids, uh, two on the front side and one on the back side of sweatpants. And first I want to draw cupids on paper, so then I can transfer them to sweatpants using transfer paper. And then electricity went out. Small town problems. 
and when electricity was back <laughs> i already uh, finished first drawing and started second one and by the way i'm using a lot of reference images which i found on pinterest because i'm not so good at drawing human figures especially baby figures so i'm using a lot of reference images to understand uh, proportions body proportions and third cupid i painted off camera and now i'm gonna use transfer paper to transfer cupids from paper to sweatpants The problem is that sweatpants fabric is so soft, so it's pretty hard to transfer image using transfer paper. I'm pushing with pen so hard, I'm just ripping paper with pen, but still I can't get clear lines. Yeah, I couldn't get a clear drawing, so I have to complete it with pencil. And now I'm outlining uh, cupids with black fabric paint using small brush. And uh, by the way, I guess you can create the same design with fabric marker. The reason why I don't use fabric markers because I don't know. I feel myself more confident when I use brush. Uh, I don't use uh, markers often, but probably I will make a video soon <laughs> where I will customize t-shirt using only fabric markers. So stay tuned. And I'm painting also a couple of shadows to add a bit volume. <laughs> and second cupid and the same process. And now I'm gonna paint hard, uh, but as I said, I'm not gonna use pink and red colors. Hard will be black color and heart will be on fire. Yeah, there will be a big drama in the design. <laughs> And now I'm gonna create gloomy, smoky sky uh, using one of my favorite techniques, a watercolor effect technique. I'm gonna mix fabric paints with water. So to create smoky sky, I'm gonna use black color, brown, a bit orange, a bit red, a bit purple, a bit blue. And uh, of course, I'm gonna add large amount of water uh, because I'm gonna create sky in watercolor effect technique. And process is so satisfying, it's just like dyeing clothes with textile dyes but having a control over dyes because I decide where I want fabric to stay white and where I want to dye it. So I'm just having fun in the process, I'm adding different colors, I'm using different size brushes, uh, yeah, I'm just doing whatever I want. <laughs> And when front side is dry completely, I can paint back side of sweatpants. And I have one cupid to paint there, and also I want to paint the 
rose again black rose and rose will be on fire You know guys, I wish I had such pants when I was younger, when I was studying at school. Because everyone was celebrating Valentine's Day with their boyfriends, girlfriends, and I was always alone. <laughs> I hope guys you enjoyed this video, if you did please smash that like button and share this video with your friends who need such pants in their lives. And here is the final result.